Anish and I are very excited to talk to you about our project, which is to use MRI to predict uh, who's going to get kidney failure. So I just want to start off uh, to by telling, uh, reminding us why we should care about kidney failure. It's a problem that's growing globally and exponentially. Regardless of whatever the cause of the kidney failure here, you can see all the lines are going up. Uh, this is a huge problem that's not going to go anywhere, uh, anywhere soon. If you have a diagnosis of kidney failure today, one in two of you will actually, unfortunately, not live past three years. This is a diagnosis that's worse than most cancers, but unfortunately is not well publicized. So what can we do about it? Well, the major reason why kidneys fail, whatever the cause, is scarring. So all roads lead to scarring. So if we could figure out who has scarring, we could figure out who's going to develop kidney failure. So the way we think about it is people are walking towards this edge of the cliff. The problem is we know scarring is important in driving kidney failure, but we don't know when scarring is occurring. It's a silent disease. So people are walking to the edge of the cliff, the people that I see in clinic, we don't know when they're going to fall off. We know when they fall off the cliff and it's too late. We can't reverse the problem. So now what we want to do is figure out a way to figure out when scarring is there. So we know scarring is important. How do we detect it today? Unfortunately, today we have a terrible, scary test to detect scarring. And that is what this guy is doing. I don't think you want to have what this guy is doing to this patient right now, which is a needle biopsy. It's a poor test for two main reasons. One is it is risky. Um, patients can bleed. Um, it hurts. Um, and uh, it takes a long time. It takes a lot out of a patient. It costs a lot. It takes a whole day. Uh, it's not a very fun thing to do. But worse than that, it is not accurate. Because as you can imagine, you're taking a tiny sample in a needle core out of a huge organ. And we're taking a very, very small sample and an inaccurate, non-representative sample of what that organ is doing. So maybe tomorrow we would have a better test. And conventional MRIs elsewhere in the world look like this, and they can't really tell the difference between mild scarring and severe scarring. But here at St. Michael's Hospital, we have a new MRI test called an elastogram, which, as you can see, very clearly can tell the difference between mild and severe scarring. This is very exciting. We're the only ones doing this. We've done the most number of patients in the world. And so we designed a study. Since we know that MRI now can detect scarring, we were asking the question, can MRI do a better job than a needle biopsy of detecting that scarring and predicting who is going to get kidney failure? We've designed a study to do MRIs and kidney biopsies in patients. We're going to follow them. We're going to see who does well, who develops kidney failure. We need to get to about 110 patients, and we're already on that path. We've already gone along that way, and uh, we need to continue this study. We want to catch people before they fall off that edge of the cliff so we can intervene earlier. Uh, and the only way we can do that is with uh, biopsy now. We want to avoid that by using an MRI and doing it non-invasively in a fast needle-free way. Thank you.